It was no ordinary May morning, as the sun rose, blessing the mountains surrounding Franschhoek. Today was a day that our local literary greats would gather to discover whom had been noted on the prestigious Sunday Times 2012 Literary Awards shortlist. The day may have been long for some. However, there was plenty to explore in Franschhoek, including a host of literary activities, such as the launch of Nali Bali, Children's Reading Initiative, then a wander through the country market, buying up some of the local fare, to the quaint shops that you could spend hours in, to eating establishments galore that are scattered along the main street. The town hall was home to the Sunday Times Reading Lounge, as well as thousands of books that were on offer for sale. As the sun set, the doors of Le Cartier Francais opened, allowing invited guests to enter. Master of Ceremonies Barry Ronger took charge, welcoming everyone to the event, which has the potential to change lives and careers of local authors. This is the 23rd Alan Payson Award and the 12th Fiction Prize. And the winners in each one of the categories will win 75,000 rand. The final presentations will be made um, in June on the 21st. Sunday Times Books Editor Timon Smith called upon the Times Editor Felicia Oppelt to hand out certificates to those nominated for the Sunday Times Fiction Prize. Moving onwards and closing off the evening's event, Smith invited Sunday Times editor Ray Hartley to join him on stage to congratulate the Alan Payton Award nominees and hand them their certificates. A big surprise of the evening was a never before heard of sixth nomination for the Alan Payton Award, which went to Mandy Weiner for Killing Kibble. The overall winners of the Sunday Times Alan Payton Award and the Sunday Times Fiction Prize will be announced on Thursday 21st of June at Summer Place in Johannesburg.